Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. We got some game changing NBA 2K24 info. They finally told us what the attribute boost for affiliations are actually going to do. We're going to be comparing NBA 2K24 dribbling to 2K23 dribbling. It's 24 better? We now know what the My Career storyline gonna be about. And we know what the gameplay meta is gonna be about, so yeah. But before we get into all that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Help me hit 277k.5. We are like 70 subscribers away. And make sure you hit that goddamn like button. It helps Young Swan grow. So Young Zach tweets out, Attribute boost from affiliation rep do not contribute towards the animation or badge requirements. It's very good to know. Now also, keep in mind, bro, previous 2Ks where the affiliation boost was there, 2K17, 16, 15, they also said this, but in like 17, you could glitch. Like, it allowed you to make a build that you couldn't make if you were a part of other affiliations. But yeah, we also need to know so much more about affiliations, man. Badge got some good questions. How many consecutive threes? for one of the boosts to activate. How long does it last? How big is the boost? How much does it up your stats? What do they do? Personally, me, I don't think 2K knows. <laughs> I, genuine think, I genuinely think 2K doesn't know. Even if they do give us an answer, I don't think they know. Y'all really want dribbling to be in the game like this? Look at this. Look, look, look at this. I've seen so many people double twisting 24 for this, right? This is compared to 23, okay? Look at the stamina he losing. I don't know if he got badges, but if he has badges and the stamina is even lower than 23, they already cater to the negative win percents casuals enough. Not only is this hoe slower, I don't know if he got badges on. I'm assuming he got badges on, right? They're both 6'3". I know that for sure. He said that. I don't know if they made the player model smaller or if it's the angle of the court player model smaller. That's a W. But even this, okay, so look, it's 100% fact. If you don't think this, you might need to get better at 2K. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. No hate to you though. You know, you can, you can live in the fantasy world if you won't be a blue pill, you know, type B. We all know 2K23 is the worst dribbling system of all time in any 2K. Park 2Ks, right? 2K14 up. So for 24 to look worse than this is insane. How does 23 look smoother? 23 is more delayed than one of the, almost all 2Ks, all that, right? Clunky, stiff, and for this hoe, to not be fast like look y'all want to see why he's moving it between his legs most likely it was to nerf it to cater to the negative win percent casuals y'all don't understand stuff like that they do stuff like that like load up animations and stuff to cater to the negative win percent casuals they don't put defense in the game to cater to the negative win percent casuals the game you love is being altered because they are catering to the negative win percent casual. But look, this, this combo, like, I'm I'm real sad that a lot of uh, dribblers, they don't notice that this not it. Hopefully it's just because the SIGs, maybe there's other ways to still get the movement on par with this, but it's looking grim. And you literally expose yourself by how you feel about this. I ain't gonna hold. We got Young Fana telling us what the meta is gonna be for 2K24. He is... A comp stage player he was in the league etc let's see what he got to say i think that the meta might honestly be a lot more slashing uh-oh like 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 oh at the same time i don't know because i haven't used real jump shots yet, okay so, uh depending on like how it is with contests and etc so basically everything he just said in these 13 seconds he's saying dribbling is horrible and trash and slow shooting jump shots is slow Speed boost is slow, dribbling's trash. It's basically what he's saying. <laughs> From his perspective, I'm, I'm I'm breaking it down, man. He ain't you know he ain't gonna come out and say that. Like there might still be a bunch of like three hunting, but I really feel like it's gonna be about coming off the screen and making the right decision. Oh, screens back. 
What, what y'all like more, screens or ISO? Screens back? What y'all think? Kind of honestly, my play style. I'm gonna have to get better at like uh, making the right decision in the right time rather than tight beat. Uh, stick skill to just like send you a send. Mm. So, Damn. They said you gotta use your brain now. You can't just use your raw stick skill. Being good at the game don't matter. Mm. I'm kidding, guys. Stop getting triggered. It's a game. Now, this dude tweeted out 2K bring about Shep Owens storyline to 2K24. I don't know what this is about. They done matched up his tattoo. Y'all are so in deep. Y'all please explain to me down below what that means. MP is on the verge of becoming the first rookie. Hey, MP name leak. More my career. You will have accomplished something no one in this organization. My career? My career? Wow. Do you ever Hairstyle leak, 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 leak. Hey, man. Th this look good to y'all. Uh huh. Now, look. I've seen a lot of people complaining that uh, 2K finally listened to the park players who hate my career and just ignored the people who actually love my career and want a storyline and they really hated that like they want a whole blog about this and they're thinking that now 2k is just making some basic blah 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 because they're not even giving people a blog they're just dropping clips like they didn't even put these hoes on their too we're gonna see more of what fana has to say about the gameplay in nba 2k24 he is actually one of the people you can probably trust somewhat at, at least way more than everyone else that went because he's a comp player he actually cares about the game right so he's gonna like tell you like how it is you just gotta decode it you feel me what's a feature they added that needs to be patched nerfed slash buffed that's a great question dario and i'm gonna be honest chat my answer to this question i honestly think that this year with like kind of like the sim sim simulation type of movement like uh -oh. they tried to do too much in the paint with you listening like the floaters, the Euro steps, the like, I get it, I get it. You want people to have an actual bag at the rim rather than just going up. But my huge worry with this is that it's kind of like, uh -oh. they want people to start actually doing floaters and etc. to where I think maybe they buffed it too much to where somebody who's actually uh -oh. and is timing all their layups and etc. are gonna make bull as layups. So if any- Uh oh, paint defense, confirm trash. <laughs> he said that layups is buffed and y'all slashes, are y'all happy? But look, look, y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get it. If you can do it easy, that means the upper echelon can do it easy. So it might get a little freaky out there. You don't be knowing what y'all be asking for. You know? It's the reason the court's so small. You know, they, they made it like that. And like player models, you know, bigger over time. Or the court got smaller because of the cries about the dribbling and all that. They tried to shrink us in, thinking it was gonna help y'all. But now y'all crying about how you can't do nothing in zones. You feel me? Y'all don't be knowing. I think it has to be patch fixed. I honestly just have to say, like, paint defense needs to be, like, buffed. What's Said paint defense needs to be buffed. Hey, they said they finally put D in the game, but, hey. It's like, almost like an AI that completely updates, like, exactly what the real nba were to look like in, in like so like for example let's say if i get a pull up jumper off the dribble like this year you're not getting a straight you're not snapping up into your release if you're like going to the left and you stop to shoot you're not getting a gather this year but what you will get is like Ooh. you're leaning to the left like your literal jump shot is like it's standing but you're leaning like this like so it's honestly like a, a different release cue rather than just getting the same catch and shoot like straight follow through like you're literally leaning like everything i think mm. the pro player with the AI made it to where the jump shots completely mimic how the nba players are shooting off the dribble etc and also mm. um, the pro play in terms of dribbling, click, 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 so many click. different size ups and etc. Because I'm pretty sure like it scans what players are doing. What they said this year is that let's say that you have Steph Curry package. Let's say later on in the season he does a new move, like he has a new signature move he starts doing. Pro play that's gonna update that into the package. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. I, I genuinely don't know. I what he's saying? If he do something through the season, they're gonna update it mid season. There's no way. 
There, there is no way. That sounds crazy. I don't know how that's gonna work, or if there's gonna be options of, or if it's gonna call it, be called like Stephen Curry too, like, and then like Stephen Curry you know too. I mean? Like, I, I'm, I'm really not too sure. So their quick stops or L2 cancel is a fast jump shots like 22 or slower like 23. Jump shots? There's gonna be the ability to have fast ass jump shots in 20, 24, y'all. Like there were some shots that were literally like, literally I could not time. But there's gonna be jump shots in this game that are okay. extremely fast, almost like 21 current gen four out of four type fast, like. Oh, he says some quick jump shots are back. W, 2K, W. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Leak, 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 leak. Damn near on some base three fast, yes. But in Base three. Quick stops, quick stops. Quick stop. I'm not too sure on the quick stop. I'm not too sure on the physical, like, instantly cancel out of your animation type quick stop. But I know for a fact you can stop and shoot this year, for sure. Like, it, it kind of lets you stop. Oh, you can stop and shoot? That's a W, bro. They'd have been, like, that. that's what I care about way more than, uh, quick stops if this is actually true huge w 2k huge w stop and shoot like very good uh i don't know about physically like insta quick stopping because i think you need that literal speed boost to do that and i'm not sure if we get a literal speed boost this year like we have fast explosion wow he said we speed boost slow this year damn so we get like delayed speed boost fanna damn like there's different dribble styles where like you're getting explosions but I haven't seen like the wiggle your shoulders like speed boost stuff to where you can instantly get out of it or maybe L2 cancel out of it. So that's my answer for that. Can you fade from three consistently? I think it's a lot harder, but I honestly think you can if you're a good player. If you're a good player and you're a good shooter and you can time your jumper, I do think this year you'll be able to fade from three consistently. I think they patch it to where Jimmy Boy 312 can't just pull up and fade from three every play. That's a W. I, I don't like how everybody can fade from three. It, it ruins a skill gap. Fading makes it way harder to contest that person. It activates a ton of badges, bro. But, but like, it's a much smaller window, but if you time it, it it's green. Insides or popper? This is a good question, Rue. I'm not too sure what the meta is going to be in terms of insides and poppers. But what I can tell you is when we were testing and an inside went against a popper, the poppers have smooth jump shots so you can green consistently. So there's going to be people who prefer their poppers. But let me tell you right now, they made it to where insides are really dogging poppers. Like, poppers mm. aren't just sitting there stopping insides in the paint every play. We going to see. Getting up with them on rebounds. Like, insides are really dogging them. Like, getting dog loose. So you're going to have your, like, your dogs who are dogging it poppers. And then you're going to have your Pause. elite poppers who are, like, spacing out the floor and they're doing their own thing. <laughs> the stamina drink faster. And can you spam the blow by animation with new badges on good defenders? This, you cannot do. And they also did a really good job with this to where the clamp breaker is not OD. You will get clamp breaker. Oh, so that clamp breaker being cat. Y'all better be careful. People been dropping videos on rookie with that blow by. Hey, but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows that everything we see here is all against you two. Don't get me wrong, but nobody's just bulldozing into you every single play this year. It's not, not happening. Like they, they, if you cut it off, you cut it off, it's cut off. How's the shot timing? Do we get normal shot timing or is it early and late? This year, rather than very early, early, late, very late, it's slightly different, and they have different effects. It's called jump, set point, push, release. Uh -huh. Tell us about it. Tell us about those, it. Those are the four releases. So you have jump, where it's like you're kind of How is literally it? off the jump. Then you have set point, which is basically early, but it honestly kind of feels like a little bit faster than earlier. And that's just like where the jump shot, you're releasing, like where he like sets it up. You have push, where it's like late, where you're like timing it as soon as like the release. And then you have release, which is basically very late, which I use, I use release. Oh, so they just redid the names. That's kind of, eh. I don't know why they just don't, uh. I guess I guess those are probably real basketball terms. How do you feel about shooting different timings in different spots on the court? Mm. I think that is a thing again this year. I 100% I do think that this you get different timings in different spots of the court. You do. People say, oh, it's because of stamina. Mike already confirmed that this isn't a thing uh, this year again. I think. I'm pretty sure I saw that. But I, I swear to you, bro, shooting a midi, shooting a three, same stamina. It's a different shot, bro. I do not care. For this year, as well as your shot speed this year, chat, it speeds up and slows down depending on your. If you have no adrenaline bar, you're gonna get a slow shot, but it's a lot harder mm. to use adrenaline this year. But like, as long as you have at least one bar, your shot's gonna be normal. The green window is a lot smaller in 24. Like there was people real life going 0 for 10, but it's a lot more rewarding. 10. It's a lot more rewarding in terms of you can green 15, 17, maybe in a 20, maybe even a low 30. You know what I mean? Maybe even randomly a 47. Like. That's horrible. So they brought back the 18 and 19 shooting contest system. That's what it seems like. A lot of the casuals and NPCs, they are very happy about that because it requires them uh, the ability to shoot in people's face because they don't have the IQ or stick skill to actually get completely open. They just like to exploit the feature and time their shot. And timing your shot um, 
it takes less skill than timing your shot and getting your jump shot off and uh reading the baits and the pickups and you know it's it's way easier to just sit there and just shoot over someone it's so easy especially when you're decent you know that's why you know 19 like you know like it had defense but then it didn't have defense at the same time because you could shoot over people lockdown centers we're not not talking about guards bro <laughs> Like you just shooting over everyone's getting shot over, bro. It's not cool. I don't, I don't think y'all really but go look at some gameplay, dog. You'll see what I'm talking about. Like if you time your shot to the best, there's a chance of you greening. I think like anything under like a 40, I think he said. Like anything under a 40 percent, you can green. All right. Would you rather have it inside? He said 90. Now said. this is all going to depend on how physically good at the game I am. I'm not too sure how I'm going to be moving. Like, dude, defense is type sturdy this year, chat. Like, I really think it's defense oh. can be better than offense this year. And every 2K we've had, like, that. Damn. Because, like, the good offensive players separate from, like, the average. Inside's actually dog poppers this year. Unless somebody Damn. makes a good proper build, they can go toe to toe with inside. But, like, from. You know what he's saying? When he's saying, like, defense is going to be better, bro. You know what he's, he's, he's really saying that offense sucks, to be honest. That's what he's saying. And, I, bro, I genuinely. Like, I want defense to be immaculate. OP, I come from the golden era. 16, highest skill gap 2K ever. Best defense ever, right? But it had immaculate offense. Seems, it seems now, 2023, we're on new generation console, all this technology. They can't create the same type of atmosphere. They have to nerf offense to try to make defense seem good that's lame like I don't, I don't i just don't think i don't i don't think that's cool bro like it just makes the game less fun like we're you know the top player is still gonna always dog them and then all the little people crying on twitter they're always still gonna hide in their modes they ain't gonna come outside you feel me they ain't gonna come outside they ain't gonna try to prove a point you feel me it's gonna keep crying on twitter playing in my league and stuff you feel me staying in that wreck where nobody knows how to dribble and get a three up. Everyone just cuts every play and holds square. You feel me? They don't want to play people with a brain, but it's like, it's just, it's just, it's like, bro, when you watch me play, I can score all 21, shoot 100%, no mistakes, and I'm still talking about how I don't like how the game went, right? Like, I don't like certain animation, certain lag, it, it makes it less enjoyable. See, a lot of y'all won't ever reach that height, but I could play perfect when every game, when 50 games in a row, and I'll have a huge problem with the game because of how it plays and how it's making me do stuff that I feel it shouldn't be like because it takes away from the, the fun aspect. I could be having way more fun than, than the fun I'm having, and, you know, it doesn't make sense. Y'all Y'all don't understand, like... I can score every play, you know? But it's like there's certain ways that enable more fun. Let's say, like, y'all don't really get our argument, man. It's like, say say a shooter, right? Say there's guns where you can have like long gun fights and it's cool and all that, but you can't get a kill with that way, right? So then you have to just go get the one shot gun and you just shoot people one shot. That's not as fun as the, you know, having a gunfight and all that so it's making you play a certain way that's like you know it's it's not no, nobody wants to do that no one wants to stop and go and just you know that's the most efficient way and left right that's the most efficient way no i want to be able to do combos and that be the most efficient way you feel me but when you nerf all the offense and realistic moves then people are only going to cheese and left right and that's how you have to play but they don't get it what I seen when that popper came out and there was an inside on the other side, but the inside was dog. <clears throat> he was blocking everything. He was finishing over him in the paint. He's getting rebounds over him, like literally taking it out of his hands. Like he's dog damn, dog, which is taking it out of his hands. Feel like a difference? Yes, fading does feel different. That's a good question. I'm glad you asked that. Fading 100% feels very different, y'all. I don't know what it is, but Trey Young literally felt different. Like it physically felt different. Mm, like, Trey like, Young felt different. Leak, 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 leak. I'm not sure if people are going to be fading every play again and greening it, but you can definitely fade and knock a jump shot down. A great inside against an average popper is going to dog a popper. If you're playing with a mediocre popper on your team and you go against a, a boss cap a lot, you will lose off the simple fact that boss is dogging your center. You're not mm. getting offensive boards. You're not getting the defensive boards you need. They saying boss returns. Y'all let me know if y'all know who boss is. Like, I, you will get dogged. Do you fuck with the dribbling? I'm not too sure how I feel about the dribbling. Look, real 
<laughs> like it's too slow. But a part Damn. of like, here's my thing, Chad. They might even get great. <clears throat> do you F with the dribbling? I honestly do. I, I do and I don't. Because like I said, I don't like the fact that it's slower. But I've tried to be optimistic with myself where like at least now I'm gonna have a skill gap, you know. There's a stage going back to PNR. Fanna, the slower games have less skill gap. Speed gap creates skill gap. Speed gap creates fun gap. When you slow your game down, you decrease the skill gap. I do think so. I don't think it's gonna be ISO. Like I don't think somebody's ISO for 21 points and successfully doing it this year. Like there's just not 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 without quick drops. I just don't see it happening. Did you play quick game with Trey Young to see if the fade is still valid? Yes, you, I did actually. And yes, you can sell green fades with Trey Young. It's a lot harder in a smaller green window to do, but it's greenable. Are shots swish or toilet bowl? That's a great question, and I honestly bear. I, I'm glad that they did this. I actually personally asked Mike Wing about this one. He confirmed that if you're open and you green wide open, it's a swish. But now if you're shooting the kind of contested ones and you green it, there are a chance that it hits rim or toilet bowls a little bit. Mm, okay, so it makes more sense. It's not just everything's a goddamn <laughs> all around the rim, wide open green. I feel like that's a lot more realistic. Leak, leak, leak. Shot speed up. They do, but it's not OD. And I honestly caught myself shooting earlys while I was playing because I was playing for it to speed up OD and it only speeds up a little bit. Our ankle okay. breakers are more consistent. Ankle breakers are more consistent, Chad. Okay, Give up your W's, spam up your L's, however you feel about it, they are more consistent. Ankle breakers are more consistent? Please, please don't be capping. Listen, that I can confirm. I was making my on accident. And you made six, nine, that you got it. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Let me answer that for you. <laughs> it's cool. That shit is done. <laughs> what are your thoughts on time dunk? Are they going to be OP from what you've seen? From what I've seen, meter dunking is actually really good this year, chat. So here's the thing with timing dunks in 24. It's green or miss, baby boy. If you want to go meter dunk on that fast break wide open, go ahead, but you better drink it. It's quick stops needed. I think they are, from what you tested, how much defense and bump steals are like. I don't know about getting straight bump steals, but blitzes are actually pretty good this year, chat. The general area needed okay. for you to be in on, on the ball to like cut somebody off and blitz them, I feel like it's almost a little bit bigger this year. That's good. Um... But at the same time, it gotta it gotta make sense, you know. They 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 do be they've been uh trying to nerf the blitzes to be honest. But blitzes should definitely that's a real skilled steal, right? But all this like going up and just pressing square to where you can't even get sized up, to where you make the offensive guy have to run away from you. <laughs> like we're playing football and you're a running back. That's not basketball, dog. People dribble in front of their defender, bro. Like, that happens. You feel me? Hey, but guys, I know when I be talking, it seems like it's from an offensive point of view, but that's only because what that's what they keep attacking. But I want defense to be extremely overpowered, like 16. I want it to be able to keep up everything. But I'm telling you, they don't implement defense for the casuals because if defense is implemented, they think that y'all will hate the game more. They think that y'all won't be able to score, you know? That's how they view it. You feel me? Because if there's defense in the game, you might really be really boxed. A lot of y'all don't think about that because if you play a decent player, like, there's no way you're going to be able to score on him if you're like a negative win percent. A lot of y'all don't think about that. That's how they view it. And, um, yeah, bro. <laughs> Paint defense. Paint defense is super hit or miss for me for how it's been feeling. Because there's times where it's like, okay, that's good. Like, you're not letting the match go in every time. But then sometimes I was seeing it and people were making some I don't know if it's because we didn't have badges or what, but people were going up with some other type of powerful. Post scoring and post hooking honestly might be back too now that we're on the topic. All right, strength matters. Strength does matter. That's something that I've actually peaked this year. If you're on a lockdown or a center, strength 100% matters for you boys. It does. It does. Big time. Okay. He's saying lockdown and center. Strength 100% matters. We, we gonna see. I don't know, man. I seen some builds. I'm gonna go over them. Y'all make sure y'all turn on them noties. I seen some builds. Like, I seen like a big 6'8 build. One that had strength up. He had lower defense. But if he didn't have strength, he had stupid high defense. So it's like, 
that's where you find out if your strength matters you know if that defense over you know or if you you know that that you know you know, you know yeah. which one is better defense or offense this year right now it's looking like defense is better in my opinion Chad. ghost contest is ghost contest is still big um they honestly tried to fix ghost contest mike wang said himself that uh he was trying to fix ghost contest and i think they honestly did a little bit this year and a part of fixing ghost contest what they did this year is that you can green those 15 17s like you can you hear that, like that. So you hear that the only way they fix ghost contests is letting you be able to shoot over people. I already, look, y'all might as well not even like watch my channel if you're a double twister, okay? If you are trying to max out your throat attributes, if you are investing in knee pads and shin pads, if you like to do yoga, you know, for the company, look, they're making it to where you can shoot over people. I will be flaming the game, bro. Okay, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you feel me? That's just how I am, bro. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. You know, y'all, y'all might probably gonna find it funny, but you know, I'm, I'm not like these other creators, bro. They just double twist because they know there's more revenue in that. I tell the truth, bro. Y'all don't want genuine, real people. Y'all want everyone to just confirm what's already in your mind. Come on, man. Y'all need to wake up, bro. Accept people for who they are. Stop trying to scope people, you know? Stop trying to make people be how you want them to be. Let people be who they are. Evolve. This is why everyone is the same. Because of y'all. Y'all make everyone be the same. Do you not get it? Wake up. Can you play two in the corner in rec or pro-am? I honestly think they dumbed it down a little bit, but I think you still can if you're a good player. But I, I do think they made the sweet spot less OD. About pure finishing, do you still slide around on defense? I think maybe a little, but it's definitely better. Defense is better without a doubt. Without a doubt, defense is better. Can you green consistently with a 70 to 80 three ball? Yes, you might not be able to shoot the same type of shots, but you can green consistently because you're gonna have lower blinders. Okay. Leak, 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 leak. Time you're shot in your open, I think it's going. How's the shooting, and do you think it'll be easier for PG to adapt this year? I do think it'll be easier in terms of just like them adapting to speed up and slow downs, but I do not think that it's gonna be particularly easy. Damn, they said it's, he said it's gonna be easier for them to adapt this year than I, than I, I guess 23. Mm. How y'all feel about that? Does it feel like 2K or did pro play give a new feeling for the most part? Did it feel like 2K or did pro play give it a new feeling? It has a new feeling, but, but it's still like, like the fact that like the walk back and the back stop feel so similar, it's too familiar for me to just say it feels completely different. Like there's a lot of shit added to it. It just feels like, it feels like a good 23. It feels like what 23 should have been. Damn, he said that whole feel like 23 should have been. He said that whole was copy paste. So y'all see a lot of people out there. They be like, oh, it's not copy paste. It's not copy paste, right? This is a, a comp stage guy. He said, I pro play cap. And then it's kind of feeling the same. It felt like what 23 should have been. Hey, hopefully it's better, man. Y'all make sure y'all check my last video, man. 2K24 changed everything again. <laughs> Patch four. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.